Coming up on season six of a high school quiz show, we have Arlington High School. <laughs> Taking on Longmeadow High School. <laughs> That's next on High School Quiz Show. <laughs> Report a claim, pay your bill. Safety's mobile app is just one more way we help you manage life storms. For auto, home, and business, ask your independent agent about safety insurance. Hi, everybody, and welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host, and back in November, 120 high school teams from all over Massachusetts competed at our Super Sunday qualifying event to earn one of only 16 spots in this year's competition. So the goal now is to become the next high school quiz show state champion and to take home this beautiful trophy. Now the quiz show champions will move on to compete against the winners of New Hampshire Public Television's Granite State Challenge in the third annual Governor's Cup competition. Today's matchup has Arlington High School taking on Longmeadow High School. Let's get right to it and meet the Arlington team. We have Adam, James, Jack, and Zach. And team alternates are Tim and Joseph with the coach. He's back, Ed Foley. Nice round of applause for Arlington. <laughs> And now the team from Longmeadow, Massachusetts. We have James, Vivian, Dana, and Michael. The alternate is Austin, and the coach is Ron Berger. Longmeadow High School. <laughs> the competition has four rounds of toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round, and we always start with a toss-up round, all answers in the round are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. So if the players are ready, so am I. And here we go. What theory first proposed in 1927 is widely regarded as the best theory of how the universe was created? Zach? Big Bang Theory? Yes. In the river valleys of Southeast Asia, what grain is typically grown in paddy fields, flooded by irrigation or heavy rains? Yes, Adam. Rice. Yes. What Bram Stoker novel reflects England's fear of disease and immigration at a time when it had the largest ports in the world? James? Dracula. Yes. What cable news network based in the Middle East launched its American Bureau in 2013? James. Al Jazeera. Yes. Uh, take a look at your screens in front of you. You will see a picture. It's difficult to know yourself, but it isn't easy to paint yourself either. What Dutch artist wrote this in a letter to his brother Theo in 1889, same year he painted this self-portrait? Zach. Van Gogh. Yes. In 1939, who said, I cannot forecast to you the action of Russia? It is a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma. Adam. Churchill. Yes. What hip-hop impresario revolutionized the headphone industry with his Beats Electronics? Adam. Dr. Dre. Yes. Committees formed by interest groups to fund political candidates are known as PACs, which stand for what? James? Political Action Committee. Yes. Uh, your next question is going to be up on the video screen, so take a look and listen carefully. Hi, I'm Matt Cohen, Vice President of Customer Care for Comcast. Here's my question. What scientist from Utah is often credited for inventing the first completely electronic television? It'd be Philo Farnsworth, the correct answer there. Uh, Hazel knows the truth. We're as likely to hurt the universe as we are to help it, and we're not likely to do either. This quote is from what John Green novel? Jack. The Fault in Our Stars. Yes. Fanfare for the Common Man and uh, Appalachian Spring are two of the best-known works of what man often called the dean of American composers. Jack. Copland. 
correct. Uh, originally celebrated on a state-by-state -state basis, what American holiday was officially established by Abraham Lincoln in 1863 as a way to promote national unity? Zach. Thanksgiving. Yes. Which of the following subatomic particles was discovered last? Is it A, the proton, B, the neutron, or C, the electron? Uh, Michael. The neutron. That is correct. What code name refers to the a secret wartime project in New Mexico where the first atomic bombs were designed and built? Zach? Manhattan Project. Yes. Which of these countries, Iran, Israel, or Armenia, is landlocked? Michael. Armenia. Yes. Uh, the Venus Express, a probe orbiting the planet Venus, was launched in 2005 by what organization known as the ESA? Yes, Michael. European Space Agency. Yes. Artists like Lord and Iggy Azalea uh, gave permission for their songs to be spoofed on Mandatory Fun, the latest album by what song parodist? Yes, James. Weird Al Yankovic. Yes. Uh, the Rosetta Stone has three columns of scripts, hieroglyphic, demotic, and what language spoken by Egypt's rulers at the time? Dana. Greek. Yes. Which of the following words is a synonym for parsimony? Is it A, disapproval, B, scarcity, or C, frugality? And Dana? Frugality. Yes. Meaning tied together in Italian, uh, what notation uh, means that a piece of music should be played smoothly and flowingly? James? Legato. Yes. Uh, what organ in the human body has specialized cells for producing electricity called pacemaker cells? Michael. The heart. Yes. In 1579, what English author began but never finished his long allegorical poem, The Fairy Queen? Jack. Edmund Spencer. Yes. Math question. Uh, a lake has a patch of lily pads. Every day, the patch doubles in size. If it takes 48 days for the patch to cover the entire lake, how long would it take for the patch to cover half of the lake? Adam. 47 days. That is correct. What country celebrated for its fjords has the longest coastline in continental Europe? Dana. Norway. Yes. A young fan pleaded, it ain't true, is it, Joe? In reaction to what player's alleged involvement in the 1919 Black Sox scandal? Zach. Shoeless Joe. That is correct. What Italian city is believed to be the birthplace of Christopher Columbus? Zach. Genoa. Yes. Eukaryotes are organisms with cells that have a nucleus. What term describes organisms with cells that do not have a nucleus? James. Prokaryotes. Yes. Uh, the territory of the lower 48 states became complete upon what 1853 purchase named after a U.S. minister to Mexico? Yes, Zach. The Gadsden Purchase? Yes. Often called the signature wound of the Iraq and Afghanistan wars, what trauma caused by a sudden force or blow to the head is known as TBI? Zach. Traumatic brain injury? Yes. What Czech author wrote The Unbearable Lightness of Being and The Book of Laughter and Forgetting, which were banned in his homeland until 1989? Yes, Zach. Vaclav Havel? No. Long Meadow, you want to try it? Yes, Michael. Kafka? No. Uh, Milan Kundera is the answer, and we'll move on. What law named for a French physicist states that volume and temperature are directly proportional at constant pressure? Jack. Lavoisier's. No, we're going to bounce to Long Meadow. You want to take a shot, James? Charles Law. Yes. Uh, what ancient Chinese military treatise attributed to uh, Sun Tzu includes maxims like all warfare is based on deception? Yes, Michael. The Art of War. Yes. In 1927. Oh, there's the bell ending the round. Round one, in fact. Uh, let's take a look at the scores. Arlington High School right now, 180 points. Longmeadow High, 120 points. Let's make some noise for both teams. Okay, so the head-to-head -head round is up next, but first we'd like to take a little break, get to know the players, the contestants, if you will. And the way we do that is I ask a question. All of you answer the same question, and we'll start over here with Arlington High. And the question is, if you could discover something from the past in a time capsule, what would you want to find and why? Adam? Uh, I'm a big fan of American integrity, so I think I would find the missing tape, the missing uh, 
minutes of the Watergate tapes. Okay. Uh, how about you, James? Uh, I'd really like to find the Holy Grail. That would give me a chance to get it appraised on Antiques Roadshow. <laughs> <laughs> and Jack. Um, I, I'm, I'm a big art fan, so I'd like to, to recover the missing paintings from the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum and return them to the museum so everyone can enjoy them. I'd like to recover them, too. I don't know that I'd return them, though. <laughs> Zach? I would like to find Jimmy Hoffa so we could solve the mystery of what happened to Jimmy's namesake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Longmeadow, your chance, James. I would like to find a Stradivarius violin so I could start taking lessons. Oh, so you don't play the violin currently? No. Okay. <laughs> Vivian? I'd like to find Shakespeare's second best bed to find out why he left that to his wife Anne Hathaway in his will. Wow, well said. Dana? Um, I would like to find some of Alexander Hamilton's first works of poems and essays because he's my favorite founding father. All right, and finally, you have uh, had a chance, Mike. Go ahead. I'm very interested in cryogenic freezing presidents and Massachusetts governors, so I would like to revive a cryogenically frozen Calvin Coolidge. <laughs> well, you've really given that some thought, haven't yeah. you, Michael? <laughs> uh, all right, here's the way it works in the head-to-head -head round. Each team chooses one player to come forward and go head-to-head. -head. So, Arlington, who's it going to be? Jimmy, you want to go? Nah, Jack, you want to go? I don't know. You, Zach? I'm not going. I guess I'll go. All right, Jack, it's going to be Longmeadow. Who's it going to be? Yeah, it's Dana. Dana, <laughs> come on up. We're going head to head. Okay, here we are, the head to head round. I've got Dana to my left. I've got Jack to my right. Shake hands and uh, let's go head to head. Want to remind you this round, you get 10 points for correct answers, incorrect answers are going to cost you 10 points, but you can buzz in as soon as you know the answer. So if you guys are both ready, uh, the clock is set at 90 seconds. So here we go. On July 20th, 1969, who became the first person to walk on the moon? Neil Armstrong. Yes. What legislative body is referred to as the upper chamber of the U.S. Congress? The Senate. Yes. What U.S. state is home to an industrial region called Silicon Valley? Dana. California. Yes. Uh, what collection of over 20 stories written in Middle English is the best known work of Jeffrey? Canterbury Tales. Yes, Jeffrey Chaucer. Uh, who is the current Chief Justice of the United States? Jack. Uh, on March 20th, 1815, who began his 100 days rule in Paris after escaping from the island of Elba? Dana? Napoleon. Yes. What American oceanographer discovered the wreck of the Titanic in 1985? Wilson. No, Robert Ballard. Uh, from 1882 until after World War II, what European country occupied Egypt? Yes, Dana? United Kingdom? Yes. Uh, how many protons are in one neutral atom of hydrogen? One. Yes. yes. Uh, the Atlas Mountains extend across the northwestern part of what continent? Yes, Jack? Africa. Yes. In 1991, who became the first popularly elected president of Russia? Yes. Boris Yeltsin. Yes. Uh, what 2012 musical is about a boxer who falls in love with a pet store clerk? Um, Rocky. Yes. Name the eighth planet from the sun. Dana? Neptune. Yes. A 125-foot-tall statue called Christ the Redeemer overlooks... Rio de Janeiro. Yes. And there is the end <laughs> of the head-to-head -head round. Uh, taking a look at the score right now, Arlington High School, 220 points. Longmeadow High, 180 points. We have ourselves a competition. Make some noise. Okay, the category round is next, and uh, we have six categories. Let's compare good chemistry, go west, the beautiful game, show me the numbers, and pop quiz. Each category has five questions with increasing point values, so there's a lot at stake. And by the way, you can confer with your teammates in this round once you buzz in, though, you are no longer able to confer. We will need your answer. Now, Longmeadow, slightly behind, so you get to choose the first category. What's it going to be? Good chemistry. Good chemistry. Questions about chemistry for 10 points. Of the three states of matter, which has the lowest level of kinetic energy? Adam. A solid. Solid is correct. You've got the board, Arlington. What's it going to be? Go west. Go west. Questions about the American West for 10 points. 
Western territorial expansion, also called Manifest Destiny, was the goal of what American president elected in 1844? Dana. James Polk. Yes, you've got the board back, Long Meadow category. Um, good chemistry. Good chemistry this time for 15 points. What seven-letter word refers to the outermost electrons of an atom that are used to form chemical bonds? Uh, James. Valence. Yes, and now you've got the board, Arlington. Category? Uh, how about go west? Go west this time for 15 points. Mexico severed relations with the United States in March of 1845, shortly after the U.S. annexation of what state? Dana. Texas. Yes, and now you've got the board, Longmeadow. What's it going to be? Go west. Go west for 20 points. Why not go west? Uh, what doomed group of 87 American pioneers spent the winter of 1846 to 1847 snowbound in the Sierra Nevada, some of them resorting to cannibalism to survive? James. Donner Party. The Donner Party is right. And now you've got the board, Arlington. Beautiful game. Beautiful game. Questions about soccer and for 10 points. My Life and the Beautiful Game is the subtitle of an autobiography by what soccer legend from Brazil? Zach. Pele. Yes, you've still got the board. Let's compare. Let's compare. Complete the following analogies and for 10 points. American president is to Congress as British prime minister is to what? Zach? Parliament. Yes, you're going to stay here or move on? Go west. Go west. This time for 25 points. In 1876, Sitting Bull led Northern Plains Indians in a crushing defeat of federal troops at what Montana battle known as Custer's Last Stand? Yes, Dana. Little Bighorn. Yes, and now you've got the board long meadow. Where do you want to go? Go west. Go west for 30 points. Uh, what Arizona city is best known as the site of the gunfight at OK Corral? Fought between outlaw cowboys and lawmen, including Wyatt Earp and Doc Holliday. Tombstone is the answer there, but Longmeadow, you still have the board. Which category? Good chemistry. Good chemistry this time for 20 points. Uh, what chemical element is the lightest of all metals in density? Yes, Dana? Hydrogen. No, Arlington, you want to try? Yes, Zach. Aluminum? No, lithium would be the correct answer there. Long meta, you've still got the board. Where do you want to go now? Good chemistry. Good chemistry for 25 points. Named after the botanist who observed it in 1827, what zigzag irregular motion is exhibited by minute particles of matter when suspended in a fluid? Brownian motion is the answer, and you've still got the board long meadow. Good chemistry. 30 points. Uh, because it is fissile, meaning its atoms split easily, what isotope of uranium is most commonly used for producing nuclear power? Dana. Uranium-238. No, Arlington. Yes, Zach. 235. Yes, U-235. So, Arlington, you get the board back, but you'll need a category. Uh, beautiful game. The beautiful game, this time for 15 points. Although the U.S. lost 2-1, what U.S. goalkeeper earned the nickname Captain America for his record-breaking 16 saves against Belgium at the 2014 World Cup? Uh, Michael. Howard? Yes, Tim Howard, the most saves in a single game in World Cup history, which means, Longmeadow, you've got the board category. Let's compare for 15. Zeus is to Jupiter as Hermes is to whom? Uh, Jack. Mercury. Yes, now you've got the board, Arlington. Let's do uh, show me the numbers. Show me the numbers. Uh, question about math for 10 points. Chow Lu of China holds the Guinness World Record for reciting pi at 67,890 decimals. What are the next three decimals after 3.14? Dana. 159. Yes, Longmeadow, you've got the board. Category? Let's compare. For 20 points, nearly headless Nick is to Gryffindor as the great lady is to what? Dana? Ravenclaw. Yes, and you've still got the board, Longmeadow. Let's compare. 25 points, Spider-Man is to Peter Parker as Wonder Woman is to whom? Diana Prince, uh, Longmeadow, you've still got the board, though. Let's compare. 30 points. Hiroshima is to Little Boy as Nagasaki is to what? 
Michael. Fat man. Fat man, yes. Uh, you've still got the board. You'll need a new category, though, Longmeadow. Numbers for 15. Show me the numbers, 15 points. You pull one card from a shuffled standard deck. In lowest terms, what are the chances that it is a black king? Vivian. 1 over 52. No, Arlington. Yes, Zach. 1 over 26. Yes, that is correct. And now Arlington has the board. Category. Let's go to the beautiful game. The beautiful game. This time, 20 points. At the 2014 World Cup against Ghana, what inspirational U.S. captain scored 34 seconds into the game and completed the match despite sustaining a broken nose? Jack. Donovan. No, long medal. You want to try? Clint Dempsey is the answer. Arlington, you've still got it. Let's do a pop quiz. Pop quiz. Questions about dogs in literature and for 10 points. For the first 24 years of the Peanuts comic strip, Peppermint Patty did not realize that the funny-looking kid with the big nose was actually what dog? Adam. Snoopy. Yes, category. Let's do pop quiz again. Uh, 15 points. In L. Frank Baum's later Oz books, we learn that what companion of Dorothy has the ability to speak but chooses not to? Yes, Michael? Toto. Toto is right. Now you've got control, Longmeadow. Uh, numbers for 20. Show me the numbers, 20 points. Uh, what is the sum of the exterior angles, two per vertex, for any polygon? Dana. 360. No, Arlington, you want to try? 720 degrees. Uh, Longmeadow, you've still got the board. Numbers for 25. Okay, if the radius of a spherical ball is tripled, then its surface area increases by a factor of what number? Vivian. 27. No, Arlington. Uh, nine is the answer. Long Meadow, you've still got it. Numbers, Numbers. 30. 30, approximately equal to 2.71828. The number E is an important mathematical constant and the base of natural logarithms. The E is named after what Swiss mathematician? James. Euler. Yes, Leonard Euler. Uh, Long Meadow, you've still got the board. Pup quiz. Pup quiz for 20. In Jack London's The Call of the Wild, what dog is stolen from a California estate and sold as a sled dog in the Arctic? James. Balto. No, Long Meadow. Buck is the answer. And uh, Long Meadow. Oh! All right, that's the end of the category round. Let's take a look at the scores right now. It's close. Arlington High School, 295 points. Longmeadow High, 240 points. Great job, teams. How about it, folks? Okay, we are heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. We call it... The lightning round, and for good reason, too. We move fast. You get 20 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers are going to cost you 20 points. The clock is set. And if you guys are ready, here we go. In the mid-1800s, many Irish immigrated to the United States because of the failure of Jack... Potatoes. Yes, what city founded by the Phoenicians is the capital and largest city of Libya? Uh, Tri Zach. Tripoli. Yes. Uh, the activity known as the Ice Bucket Challenge primarily raises money for... Yes, Dana. ALS. Yes. Uh, what well-known astrophysicist is the host of the television program Cosmos? Jack? Sagan. Correct. Uh, what treaty signed by British and American representatives in Belgium ended the War of 1812? Uh, Dana. Adams of Nice. No, Treaty of Ghent. Uh, what three-letter word is another name for the wildebeest? No, he didn't make it. Gnu is the word. Uh, what uh, Greek goddess of the hunt is identified with a Roman? Yes, Jack. Um, Artemis. Yes. Uh, what medal is also known as Wolfram or W? Uh, Michael. Tungsten. Yes. Who won a Newbery Medal for her novel set during the Holocaust, Number the Stars? Lowry. Yes, Jack. Lowry. Yes. Uh, in 2014, what tennis player won her third consecutive singles championship at the U.S. Open? Michael. Serena Williams. Yes. Who painted the old guitarist and Guernica? 
Yes, Jack. Picasso. Yes. Uh, the battles of Shiloh and Collierville were fought in what U.S. state? Michael. Virginia. No, Tennessee. Lockjaw is caused by what bacterial disease that begins with the letter T? Zach. Tetanus. Yes. Ooh. Okay. That's the buzzer. That's the bell. The winner, high school quiz show this week, is Arlington High School. Final score, 435 points, Longmeadow High School, 260 points. Again, make some noise for both teams. Nicely done. All right, so Arlington High will now move on and play in the quarterfinals. That's it for now. We'll see you all right back here next week on High School Quiz Show. Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. Safety insurance. Sometimes you need additional protection, especially when it comes to auto, home, and business insurance. You can ask an independent agent about enhanced coverage from safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Production of WGBH.